Why do Catholics focus so much on Christ crucified when the resurrection is the apex of the faith? You see crucifixes displayed in churches, schools, homes, and on necklaces. Why so much focus on Good Friday when we're an Easter Sunday people? Let's go beneath the surface. God seeks covenantal union with his image on earth. While the first Adam failed the test of love in the Garden of Eden, the second Adam, Jesus, ratified the new covenant in the Garden of Gethsemane. Jesus nullified Adam's sin by accepting the new tree of life, the cross, and becoming its hanging fruit to be consumed in the Eucharist. Christ's crucifixion seals the new and eternal covenant between the Father and Jesus by their exchange of life. Christ gives his life so that the Father may raise him and permeate his human nature with grace and glory. For Christ's mystical body, the Church, to share in this grace and glory, it must first follow its divine head to share in his suffering, the salvation of souls. This mystery is confirmed by St. Paul in one of the New Testament's most cryptic passages. I now rejoice in my sufferings for your sake. And in my flesh, I complete what is lacking in, the, in Christ's afflictions for the sake of his body, the church. While Christ's sacrifice opened for us the way to the Father and the gate to heaven, which had been slammed shut due to our sins, we're still required to take up our crosses daily to follow him. Christians are saved from eternal damnation by Christ crucified and their cooperation with its saving action. So while Easter is indeed the pinnacle of the Christian faith, displaying a crucifix reminds us of what, it, what must be endured in this life before the resurrection of the dead. And that's your Murano Minute. May your penances, united with Christ, atone for your sins and those of the whole world.